वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ मैकेनिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम मोर एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम फॉर कैंटिलीवर बीम सो लेट अस स्टार्ट इट ड्रॉ शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मोमेंट डायग्राम फॉर अ बीम एज शोन इन फिगर सो हियर वी हैव गिवन अ कैंटिलीवर बीम व्हिच इज हैविंग टोटल स्पैन ऑफ 4 मीटर टू पॉइंट लोड एंड वन यूडीएल इज एक्टिंग ऑन दिस बीम first let us give the name to important points so here three important points are there a b and c let us first work out the reaction so first we will work out the condition of equilibrium that is summation of all vertical force is zero and we'll consider upward positive so let us start with here 5 kN is acting in downward direction so it will be minus 5 UDL 2 kN per meter rate is given for 3 meter length so total load will be 6 and it is also in downward direction so it will be minus again point load of 3 kN in vertically downward direction so it will be minus and finally one point load is acting in upward direction that is support reaction it will be plus algebraic sum is 0 now let us simplify it on simplifying it we have got support reaction is equal to 14 kN now let us work out shear force first this is sign convection of shear force we have to work out shear force all important point at point b udl is ending and point load is there so we have to calculate shear force at just right and just left of point b so let us work out at point a here we starting from right hand side so when we start right hand side downward force is positive so it will be plus 5 moving ahead at point b just left mean, means udl is completed and point load is not started so again start with 5 which is acting in downward so it is plus 5 moving ahead UDL two into three, so that is six in downward direction. So plus, so at B just right it will be eleven kilonewton. Now let us work out at B point just right of B point. So we'll consider point load also. So it will be plus five that is first point load plus six that is UDL and again one point load of three kilonewton. It is also acting in downward direction. So it will be plus. So it will be 14 kN and let us work out at point C so at point C again we'll start with here so plus 5 UDL that is plus 6 plus point load 3 and VC in upward direction so it will be minus 14 so here it will be 0 kN so let us draw the shear force diagram so we have taken all the projections Now let us draw the diagram at point A. Shear force is 5 kN, so let us take this much ordinate as 5 kN. At point B, the value just right it is 11, so let us take it like this. So this value is 11 kN at just right of point B, and at just left. point load is also added so it will be three more so this will this is 14 kN after that there is no load so this will be straight line and at point c it is zero so this is the shear force diagram so this is the shear force diagram now let us draw bending moment diagram for that let us calculate bending moment first sign convection for bending moment which we are going to follow let us calculate it so we will work out bending moment at all important point so at free end of cantilever beam bending moment is always zero so here we'll kept 0 kN into meter at point b here we are considering right hand side of this section so when we consider when we start from right hand side anti clockwise is positive due to 5 kN force it is acting in clockwise direction so it will be minus force is 5 
and distance of this five from this point where we work out moment means at point C it is three. In addition to that, when UDL is also there, so total force of UDL that is two into three six, and distance of UDL means CG of UDL to this point is half of this, so it will be three by two. So on simplifying it, we have got minus 24 kilonewton into meter at point B. Now let us work out at point C. So again start with here, it is clockwise direction, so minus force of distance of 5 from this, that is 3 plus 1, 4, minus moment due to this UDL, so value of UDL is 6, and distance of UDL from this point, that is half of 3 plus 1, so it will be 1 plus 3 by 2. Moment due to this 3 kN force is acting in clockwise direction, so it is also minus force is 3 and distance between 2 is 1. So let us simplify it. So it is 38 kN into meter. Now let us do bending moment diagram. So let us do the bending moment diagram. At A point, moment is 0, so this will be 0 kN into meter. At point B, the moment is 24 kilonewton into meter. So we can say, let us, this is 24 kilonewton into meter. Here, this is UDL. So this is going to be parabolic curve. After this, at point C, the moment is 38. So let us say, this is 38 kilonewton into meter. Joint this two. So this is bending moment diagram. The diagram is in negative side because all values are negative. So this way we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram when we have given UDL and point load on cantilever beam. So here I am giving you the similar problem for your homework. You have to solve this and if you have any query, please write in comment box. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.